How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and today I am going to be showing you guys a tutorial of how to catch Mew in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And this works for the actual real life cartridges from the original generation games as well as the virtual console downloads that you can get on the 3DS. What you're going to need for this glitch are an Abra that can use teleport, tons of Pokeballs because even though Mew is at a low level it is still a legendary Pokemon and thus has a really high catch rate. And you'll need at least one Pokemon that is able to knock out high level trainer Pokemon as well. And by high level I mean level 16, 18, around that point. If you have a Pokemon that can knock those out, you're all good. So the first thing you're going to want to do is defeat Nugget Bridge and go all the way down to this exact tile right here. And then you want to move down one tile and as you move down you want to hit your start button. This trainer has one frame where it needs to turn around in order to see you from its default looking down position. During that one frame, if you hit the start button, the trainer battle code is initiated, but not the battle itself. If you do this right, the start menu will open, but you should also be able to see the trainer at the same time. You'll want to go to your Pokemon, choose Abra, and teleport back to the Pokemon Center in Cerulean City. You should see the trainer use an exclamation mark as you teleport away. This is your final indication that the glitch has begun to work. After you teleport back to the Cerulean City Pokemon Center, you'll want to go over to the gym and battle this, the very first trainer. This trainer has a shelter at the very end of their party, and if you defeat the shelter, it basically tells the game that the next wild Pokemon that they have to generate is the Mew that you are looking for. So after you've defeated Shelter, you'll want to start walking back the same way you went to begin with towards the trainer that you used to initiate this glitch. As soon as the trainer comes into view of the camera on the top left of the screen, the start menu should open all on its own. Then all you need to do is back out of the start menu, and Mew should appear. Now, since Mew is at such a low level, you will also want a low-level Pokemon of your own to try and weaken it. It also really helps to have a Wigglytuff that has Sing, or something that can cause a status ailment of some kind. All those Pokeballs will come in really handy right now. Keep in mind, when you throw a Pokeball at a wild Mew that has no status ailments and has 100% health, then the Pokeball will simply miss, which does happen time to time in Generation 1. So all you need to do is weaken it, and catch it, just like any other wild Pokemon. As you can see, Mew's information has been added to the Pokédex, and you can take Mew out of your PC and begin using it immediately. The PC works a little differently in Generation 1, meaning you'll have to withdraw Mew and manually heal it at the Pokémon Center, instead of it healing automatically like in later generations. Last but not least, remember to save your game. It's also really helpful to save before all this, just in case you mess up. Then you can just soft reset and start all over. I hope this tutorial was helpful to all of you. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more.